Welcome to episode 11 of Easy Expert Challenges, hosted by me, J.C. Locke. In this series, we utilize the power of front-loaded optimization to defeat Monster Train's expert challenges. Today's challenge is Brains Over Brawn, which is another challenge that I originally used the Slow Fade build showcased in episode 1 to defeat. That is still a valid approach. By not discarding cards, we ensure that there is almost always a primitive mold available to cast. However, now that I know what I'm doing, at least more than I did back then, I realize this is not the optimal solution. The optimal approach involves exploiting a unique game mechanic to completely ignore the armchair general mutator and mitigate the disadvantages of the magic hand mutator. That will turn this challenge's mutators into 100% upside for us. That unique game mechanic, available only to a single champion in the game, is phased. One of Soulguard the Martyr's forms, Titan Channel, has a unique ability called Phased. In this form, Soulguard takes up space but cannot attack, be attacked, be targeted, or most importantly for this challenge, cannot have status effects other than Phased applied to him. Experienced players already know that this means that if you place Soulguard first on the top row, he will not get Ember Drain applied to him. This is also true for the Heartless and the Sap 10 debuffs that would ordinarily be applied upon entry in this challenge. This is not Soulguard's only advantage in this challenge. He also comes with Foregone Power as his starter. Between this card and Frenzied Swarm, which will be part of our reroll plan, we can discard part or in the entirety of our hand at our discretion, freeing up space in our hand for valuable draws. Speaking of draws, we will be utilizing Exile Awoken as our secondary clan to take advantage of the draw and the incant power of Root Seeds. We are looking for three things in our reroll plan. Frenzied Swarm, Titan Channel Soul Guard, and Founding Seal. Founding Seal ensures that Soul Guard unfazes quickly. At its first level of phased, we need only two incants if we have Founding Seal. And to be frank, Founding Seal is simply a ridiculously powerful artifact for incant-based scaling and strategies. So uh, we're looking to maximize our chances of victory. We're looking to pick up Founding Seal. With that, let us set our phaser to optimize and lay in a course for victory. All right, we have our Frenzied Swarm. Let's take a look at the bosses real quick. Days Talos. All right. That should be fine. We'll just have to put Soul Guard in front. Uh, garbage Fell. And Garbage Seraph. <laughs> All right, so that's something we'll have to be mindful of. Not looking forward to those bosses. Alright, we have our Titan Channel. Uh, I'll take the hammered chest plates here, and because it's Titan Channel, I'll look in the Horde. And there's our Founding Seal. So we won't have to reroll. And we're gonna go into the Ring 1 battle. Definitely want a unit draft. Probably going to take some pyre damage for it. Though, I don't know. We, we might have a shot of, of taking this down without pyre damage. It's a long shot, though. Set up top. Crystals. Oh yeah, I can't root seeds him yet. I guess I could have root seeds the healer for an extra draw, but you know what are you gonna do? All right, gambling on the foregone power here. Ah, come on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so regardless, Titan Channel is alive.
got a shot at this. I think we might actually pull it off without any fire damage. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Very nice. Uh, let's see. I plan on encanting, so yes, I would definitely love a pair of offering tokens. Hmm. Either of these are good. We could definitely use the restoration detonation if we go the full uh, Titan Channel path. That's not my first choice. Sting. Good for encanting, good for card draw. We'll, we'll take some stings. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll take the pair of sirens here. Since, once again, the plan is incanting. Alright. What's in the Merchant of Steel? Okay, that is a multi strike and an incant armor, too. Very well, then. <laughs> You got it. Uh, I should have looked at the matter, but it doesn't matter. Uh, hmm. I could potentially... Nah, I, I don't. I, I don't think now is the time to make this commitment. I think we skip here. Yeah. All right. Uh, going up to thirty shards. After after how we comported ourselves last fight, I think I think this is good. Ooh. I think I like cheater's hand here. There's any number of things I might like to hold back at a given time, particularly uh, until we can find holdover on our days. That. So yeah, no, that's a good pickup. Uh, another unit draft. I wish it was money. I'd take it if it was money, definitely. No, I think I'm going to see this Awoken banner. Uh, yeah, let's skip this one. We'd probably be okay, but there's no point in taking chances. question is, do I put Siren in front or back? I think I put her in back. <laughs> Starting canting. Activate Soul Guard. Definitely want Helicopter Solace and Sting going on here. And I think the Wildwood Sap as well. No, 
definitely think Root Seed's the better play here. I sure would love a ping to deal with these hasty boys. Beggars, choosers, and all that. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. Now we got the X regardless. I'm not gonna sweat. I was just asking for a ping, and here, here is one. We'll go up to 30 cards, which doesn't thrill me. Hmm. Not sure it's a pair of razor-sharp edges. And restoration detonations, I was just talking about that. Nonetheless, I think we go aggressive here. 32 cards. We need to start bearing down fast. Husk Hermit, huh? I think I would rather self-infuse and dupe at this point. Although quick might be nice, but... Nah, I think we're covered. I think we skip here. Do the self-infusion. And we're going to have to do it now, it seems. Uh, okay, okay. I'll take the Pyrestone housing. Alright. Oh, a lot of pretty in the temple. Okay. So yeah, let's, let's do the self-infuse on the Nameless Siren. That brings it up to six rage per incant. I definitely want an intrinsic offering token. And plus 30 magic power is probably going into Helical Chrysalis. Yeah. Alright, we're up to 80 shards, and yet I'm not pressed. <laughs> Check out the caverns and then move along. Oh, Malika. Yeah, no, the last thing I need here is more shards, but thanks anyway, Malika. Always a pleasure. Thou hath wasted thy frickin' time. Channel is active. Uh, yeah, I'd rather give her the frostbite. Oh, six rage. Yeah, that's probably the wrong call. Anyone? 
one who needs to be flash frozen. That 9 by 2 certainly doesn't make me happy to see. Ah, of course. <laughs> and then always the way. Fire damage here, and there's frick all I can do about that, but not too bad, thankfully. So, a 20% chance of discarding the, the Frenzied Swarm. Whew, alright. That's probably an unnecessary risk. Yeah, we have the X anyway. But I do want to see where our power level is against an 80 shard Talos here, so I'm going to play it out. Okay, yeah, we do it in one turn. Very nice. All right. Oh, man. Well, I <laughs> know what it's not. That, that's easy enough. When did I find the time to divine stamp that? I don't know. Especially when I haven't done so for Harness the Titan. Uh, oh, man. It's got to be Ancient Synergy. <laughs> And we'll go up to 33 cards. Animus of Will, huh? Nah. nah I definitely want space here, because I'm going to dupe that Siren. Thankfully, Cheater's Hand gives me a little bit of extra draw. Alright. I really want those removals. <laughs> but I need the, I need the hell vent right now. <sighs> All right. Cold channel.
there's going to be a lot of shards attached to this. I'd feel a lot better about this if I had a proper healing spell. But I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to pivot cold channel here. Go up to 34 cards. Man. I, I do not think I need the cash. Nah. So, yeah. Let's just move on. Oh, multi-strike for a random artifact, and I'm probably going to try and play bottom. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> I mean, I already have the best artifact for this particular build, so I don't know what I'd be chasing there. I think I'm going to hang on to Ancient Synergy for a turn. Sting the Collector for some cash, most certainly. Second Siren up. Definitely Wildwood Sap. I mean, I can play everything, so there's no reason not to. I mean, I'm getting them both back regardless because I'm about to offer a token here. <sighs> Even if I were to hit Ancient Synergy, it's not enough to kill him. So here's what we do. Baldwood Sap now. for solace. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, that worked. Plant you up here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and root seeds and frenzied swarm. Prevent a whole bunch of damage to Soul Guard. And next wave should be a breather. got the X. I feel I feel confident in my power level, so let's just go ahead and hit the Y button and end it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna skip here. Awake. Are you the Helix spell I've been looking for? Mm, not on 34 cards, no. Hello again, Malika. How's it going? 
I'm still not interested in your Girl Scout cookies. swing this way. Split Anvil. Absolutely. Dang, I wish I'd have known that was coming when I was looking at the Awake. What you can do? Peek in the Magic Shop. What do we got? Holdover. Well, that's easy. I no longer need healing. And to be sure, I'm going to minus one it. Let's look in the caverns. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Awoken? Yep. Absolutely. All day, every day. Give me that quick. As I go up to 35 cards. <laughs> Anything of interest in the temple? <sighs> Ten and piercing. I like that on Ancient Synergy. Yeah, that's happening. Go up to 105 shards. I don't think... Nah, this does not add sufficient value. Okay. So at this point, we start buying removals. Get rid of the train stewards. Everything else in some way, shape, or form permits me to encant. All right, I'll get three removals here. It only gets me down to 32 cards. Oof. But I think we'll be okay. We've got two offering tokens helping us cycle through our deck. We've got Cheater's Hand. Uh, I'm going to be playing top regardless on account of the Silent Marksman. Yeah, we can take the trial here. I definitely want the money. Hmm. Uh, am I looking at another Merchant of Steel at any point? Definitely not on seven. I'm, I'm going to be looking at them on 8. So yeah, I'm probably going to swing left on 6. I should have enough cash to, to look at the trinket shop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we definitely take the cash here. This, sh this, is, this should be a very low-risk trial. There's my good siren. Well, they're both good sirens. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Oh yeah, here's where all the incanting starts slowing down the switch processor. Alright, got my holdover frenzied swarm. We're gonna start with an ancient synergy. Make the rest of my hand free. Definitely dropping that on you. And hold that over. Clear out my hand. Go ahead and send you to your death so I stop redrawing you. Hmm, well, I'm starting to see a flaw in my cunning plan here. Dazed enemies do not hit Frost Soul Guard. <laughs> Sirens are putting in enough work. And I, I can always let the Frenzied Swarm go if I'm feeling confident. Uh, let's see. I want to keep the Helical Chrysalis. Uh, get rid of you. Oh yeah, you're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> so hard. I mean, whatever it is, I'm getting it back anyway. Play it out. I want to do another quick gauge of my scaling here. So that's 700, roughly about 1,500 damage. Yep, I can I can roll with that. Uh, no. I have a lot of good discard tech, but I also have 32 cards in my deck. Well, there is the, the Tempting of the Awake again, but now completely irrelevant. I am not tempted, game. <laughs> 335 gold. Yeah, I'm definitely swinging this way. I want the removals. 
Removals are at a premium right now. Where's the train steward? Wildwood sap is quickly starting to lose its value. And so is foregone power. Hmm, I want them both. Okay. That will bring me up to uh, 130 shards. 130 shards for garbage fill. But, yeah, our deck can more than handle that at the moment. Uh, let's see. Bruce Mask is nice. But I think I'm going to reroll. There's so much better that's available. Uh, and that's, uh, ooh, yeah, that's definitely, that is definitely a, a relentless plan for, yeah, for Soul Guard. Definitely taking that. All right, let's shard up. Thirty magic power. If I see if I if I have another chance for holdover, I want it in that to power my split anvil. So, reckon I will stick it in this one. And I definitely want to purge out a foregone power. Garbage fill, 130 shards. And yet I am once again not pressed. Gonna play bottom if my hand permits it. Why couldn't you have been the purge one? Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right. Open Soul Guard would provide enough frostbite. Both my flash freezes in the bottom half of the deck. But he will die to frostbite, so I'm not concerned. <sighs> I'm gonna take three damage here, I believe. Shot here. Well, thank you, game. Can't a Rooney. 
once again playing it out to gauge my power level. Not rage fell. Again, I don't think it matters. It's done. And he doesn't even touch me. Yep. So, what are we looking at here? About a thousand. About 1900 damage? Yep. <laughs> no, it's never Horfrost Effigy. Oh. I mean, I could abandon my day's plan at this point and take the super heal, but... Ah, uh, nah. As much as I want... Draw, I'm now suddenly concerned about... Diligent. And the number of curses I'm gonna, or the number of scourges I'm gonna be taking on. So I think it's Ember here. Between our stings and our root seeds, our draw is pretty good. Hello once again, Malika. And once again, no thank you. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Some more foregone powers. Mm. Yeah, I want to stick with Cold Channel, I think. Well. I can get 10 stacks of shard real easy, but... Nah, the gains are not worth it to, uh, to go up to that level of phase, so we'll go Gold Channel 2 here. <sighs> I'm going to take on these boons here. I want some more cash to spend at the magic shop, since this will be my last magic shop of the game. Nope, not feeling double stack anywhere. <laughs> not really feeling any minus ones either, but while the tone's not a bad place to put it. Oh. Ten magic power. I'll put it in the flash freeze. Permafrost, absolutely worthless in this context because we don't discard. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better to have 123 than 213s. And I would actually rather purge card. Yeah, I think it's going to be the last foregone power. Okay. We are now broke, but powerful. What we got? Living armor? Yep. Easy kill. And yeah, I'm definitely taking that trial on. 140 yards I'm taking the trial on. That's that's how powerful we are, and I'm confident about that. Hmm. Going up top. Quite ready for you yet. Yeah, 
I'm gonna come down here for the ancient synergy. Everything else can stay up top for encanting. I don't know, does this helical chrysalis make Yes! Goodbye, Wilting. <laughs> I stand corrected. I can afford everything. So, I think I'm going to put you away for now. time around. <sighs> yeah, goodbye upgraded Wilt Wing. drawing back into it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Can you tell I hate Wilt Wings? Uh, have, have I made that point clear? <laughs> because I do. I really do. All right, I'm going to start catching up the middle siren now. Sorry for the lack of commentary here. Just in the groove. Yeah, at this point, I see no reason to do anything other than press Y because I know how ridiculous my pair of sirens currently is. Behold, the power of Founding Seal. Uh, pass. And definitely pass. All right, we can see the ending. Okay. 
Alright. That's worth spending my money on. Look at those trinkets. Uh, yeah, that's worth re-rolling. <laughs> Cursed vines. Now there is a diligent answer. <laughs> Taking that. No doubt. Alright, coming back here. Spending some money on that multi-strike. <laughs> I guess a strength stone for the other. Alright, what are the weakest cards currently in my deck? That's easy. <laughs> Anything worth sharding up for here? Hmm. I want to go up to 150 shards, because I almost never do. What do I dupe here? That Helicor Solace is a good target. That Ancient Synergy is a fairly good target. Two of 24, four of 24, five of 24 to power. Yeah, I think it's this Ancient Synergy. That brings us up to a perfect 150. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let's go see Seraph. Now, the trick here is going to be making sure that we don't draw more than nine cards every turn. And the Cursed Vines lets us set up bottom the same spell, so we're going to put you back for now and redraw you anyway. <laughs> oh well. Thank you. I'm not ready for you yet. No, well, I'm getting you anyway. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I guess I am ready for you. I believe I threw all, all three vengeful shards in one shot. Oh, well. Oh, freaking belt wing.
seven, eight, nine. We're going to put a root seeds back. Draw this dead weight, so we'll hold the frenzied swarm. Did I draw too many cards somehow? No, I had too many cards in hand. All right, so something's getting eaten here. I think it's going to be my unupgraded Helical Chrysalis. All right, so that's a lesson learned. if I want my, my cursed vines to go off. Another upgraded will wings. Yuck. Yep, I can hold the frenzy score. Well, oh, that's a terrible hand. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? Crap. Do we save Soul Guard? We do not. <laughs> Alas. Not with a 19 by 3 Seraph over there. Uh, the price of shard aggression. Hello, once again, Malika. Wait a minute. Are you preventing me from getting a divine artifact? Hmm. Hmm. If so, I don't think we can be friends anymore, Malika. I will still continue to be polite, because I am a polite individual. But we, we cannot be friends if, if you are the reason, instead of RNG, that I did not get a, a, a Divine Artifact here. I did not get my pages or my pyre armor. Well, now, this is a pickle. 
How long can Soul Guard survive? Five rounds? Okay, we can definitely find our days before things get dicey there. So we set up top. Uh, no, 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 no. I think... I think I actually set the vine grasp aside, of all things. And there's my days. Start knocking off some of these damage shields. Damage shield. Camping does not impress me. Let's work into these waves one at a time.
so exciting. <laughs> Just enchant, enchant, enchant. Roar. <laughs> All by a little chipping away at Divinity's health. If there's one thing I really love about Awoken, it's their artifacts. Emblem of the Exiles and Cursed Vines have been both putting in so much work. Alright. I think Divinity lasts one more turn against us. I can kill off that Wiltwing before I see him. No, oh, I did not mean to press the Y button. Okay, we're going to take some damage, but that's okay. He'll take some Frostbite for his trouble. 76 points worth. <laughs> this should be the end. Well, it definitely should have been the end. Yeah, it's the end. You know what? I am not going to jinx it. I'm, I'm not going to take the chance that I'm going to play something stupid and lose. So this is the part where I press the Y button. I watch everything go down, and I thank you for joining me for episode 11 of Easy Expert Challenges. I hope you look forward to the next one, and I will see you then. Now let's pull the Bone Shaker into the station.